I'm so hood. What up, outfit reference? Yo, good morning, kidding. Afternoon, kidding. Almost evening. It is 4 p.m. right now. Um, I woke up a while ago, actually, and I edited my vlog from yesterday. It's already up. Look at me on top of my... What's that? On top of my edit game there. Um, I'm having a lot of fun editing these vlogs. I feel like I might even still do it when Jazz comes back. I don't know. I feel like it has, like, the mother's touch, like, my touch. And I feel like... I edited it. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's like, nice. It's, it's, I don't know. It's like, great. It's great. Um, so I just did that. My family has gone to Tina's house to go hang with the kids. I might go in a little bit as well, but I have a lot of work to do before that because I didn't get a lot of work done yesterday. Um, so that's what we're doing. And I also feel like one of the things that makes me really sleepy during the day, and I, I spoke about this in a few vlogs a few vlogs ago, is a change of environment. Because my basement has no windows, I get sleepy in here. So now I'm thinking, like, it's really sunny outside. I'm thinking about moving my computer once again into my room upstairs. Um, you know, change of environment, but my upstairs room is a disaster. So I'm like, should I clean that? What should I do? I still haven't unpacked from tour. Maybe I should use today. You know, it's a Saturday. I turn up a little bit, you know, turn up. You know, turn up, you know, just turn up. Um, so that's what I might do. It's gonna be a good day, unless something totally ruins it, in which case, God damn it. All right, so I decided not to deal with my room right now. I just brought my laptop here to do some work because I was like, on my to-do list, it does not say room. I have a lot of other work to do. Focus, don't get sidetracked. And now my mother effing Wi-Fi ain't working. You see how, yo, man, the evil spirits are just all around trying to get me to not do my work. And I'm gonna be real with you, I have two routers in my house and I don't know where the one for, for right here is. So I'm just like searching my house now, looking for this router. Why I got more than one router? Why, why? What is this? Is this a house or is a wireless wave? What the F? Okay, so I'm doing something so emotional right now. Scott just emailed me saying he needs like the soundtrack of the tour. So I'm just like listening to the files before I send it to make sure they're the right ones. But I'm like listening to it and it's like. So many movies. You came, you know what part of that is. Oh, I can't even speak, you know what part of that is, but. I miss it so much. I miss it. Oh my god, I just started something wonderful. I actually have always been wanting to do it, and I noticed that Tyler does it also on his Twitter. Um, I've started a hashtag called Team Super Family Time because I'm like, yo, there's so many people on Twitter that love Team Super and they should get to know each other. So um, I'm getting people to tweet me, and I made it very clear like, this is not a session for you to ask me for a retweet or a follow. No, I'm not above you. I want to be your friend. Like, tell me about yourself. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're from. And I'm responding, but then I'm telling people, go tweet other people that are using the hashtag Team Super Family Time and become friends with them and follow them and like get to know them and then introduce them to me. So we're all becoming friends online with something called Team Super Family Time. And it's so much fun. I love it. I'm going to do this way more often. This is epic. Like, people are like, is anyone else scared of pigeons? Team Super Family Time. Hi, my name is Anissa, Team Super Family. Everyone's get, everyone's becoming friends. I love it. I feel like this is the best thing that's ever happened. Like, all these people are talking, and I'm not gonna, it's making me so happy that they're, they're not tagging me. It's not about me, this is what I want. Like, I didn't want it to be like about me, like people asking me for a retweet or a follow. No, it's like about making friends, and people are like, I'm like stalking people's conversations, and they're just legit having conversation, getting to know each other. It's the coolest thing ever. Okay, we need to do this way more often. This has to have team super family, no, team super family time. It's a new thing that's happening. Team super family time. I love it. Oh my God. It's, it's, I'm going to spend the next like seven hours reading these conversations. So I took a shower, I cleaned my body, I put on this shirt. Basically, I just keep wearing the same four clothes because all the rest of my clothes are in Hurricane Lily upstairs. Okay, I need to, I need to. Before, after. Zing, 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 zing. Look at that cleanness right there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm ready for a nap. No, I'm kidding. I can't do it. I can't do it. There's no energy. There's no energy in the atmosphere right now. I have to change environments. I'm gonna have to figure out my room and move my computer upstairs where, I don't know, I have to. So that's what's happening. Did you feel that? There's no energy, bro. All right, so I unpacked half my suitcase, the laundry pile. I got a donate pile going on over there. I refolded all these clothes. Take this in, these clothes, like, Full baskets of clothes will not fit in my double-decker closet, and I use another closet. Like that's, I know it sounds really ungrateful, but like I have way too many things. I have way too much of everything. These are the teddy bears, and I haven't even finished unpacking. Like that, I need to somehow fit on my bed, and I haven't even gone through. Like I have a whole thing from Birmingham, whole thing from Dubai, and a whole thing from. Like let me just show you the situation. Like because I don't like throwing away the things you guys give me. I I'm not gonna lie. I do donate some if I get doubles and triples of things, but like look, unopened unopened all like this is it's out of control like this is why like i can't i need to like move because i need to like filter through everything i need to donate stuff 
I need to move to a more functional space because like, look, look what I did with my hats. So many hats. So I like put them up here in addition to all the ones I have over here. I feel like I'm just gonna give away a lot of my stuff. That's what I think has to happen, but like it's gonna take a long time to go through everything. So when I move, <laughs> tentatively, hopefully in November, I need to like do something about this. This is out of control. Either way, now I need to get to the actual workspace area now that I can see my floor. Okay, so this is my progress. I fixed my bed. Got some basic teddy bears there. Put some over there for now. I decided not to put my computer, but to put my laptop here instead. I fixed my desk. It's a bit of a, you know, workable area. This right here, I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that. And I don't know what to do with that. But all I'm going to focus on right now is that and working because I've cleaned enough for one day and there's no place to put anything else uh, uh congratulations we're getting closer today because you're seeing that i'm admitting my name is lily singh and i have a problem i am both a shopaholic and i am a hoarder of things and i don't want to throw away anything people give me <laughs> it's not only that i do throw away things it's like you know what it is you all spoil me that's what all of this is like my P.O. box. It's like the tour I just did. Like, you all spoil me. That's, that's, that's the blessed problem I have. I have a problem. Here we go. Change of environment. Got my little setup right here. Got a sandwich. Got all that stuff. I didn't even tell you that aside from all this stuff, I actually put two loads of laundry in. So, like, two baskets will be added to this. Okay, we're going to stop talking about this because it's stressing me out. I'm going to get some work done. All right, so the time is... What time? Why do I always do this? Why do I say the time is not all the time? It's 1 a.m., um, I got a little bit of work done, and now I have a really big migraine. What else is new? So I just put some Tiger Balm, it's like an ointment on my shoulders, I took some medicine. I get migraines because of my shoulders. I hold all my tension, stress, and just generally my shoulders and neck hurt a lot, and then my head hurts. Um, that's why I get massages all the time. But I'm going to lie down for a bit. I might do some more work, might fall asleep, not really sure. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about something. So a lot of people, when they watched yesterday's vlog, were kind of like, why are you moving to LA? Why are you moving to LA? Um, especially all my fellow Canadians and Torontonians were like, don't move. Let's talk about that for a second. I have for a long time wanted to move to LA. It has nothing to do with me not liking Toronto. If you know anything about me, I have a song called Ivy Ivy. I, I love Toronto. I was born and raised here, well, in the surrounding area. And I'm a proud Torontonian, and that will never change. But... I mean, over the last couple of years, I have gone back and forth to L.A. All the work I do is in L.A., all the collaborations I do in L.A. Um, it's just, it's gotten to a point where I have to, to progress forward in life, I, ha I have to move to L.A. I mean, I'm, I miss so many opportunities not being there. Um, and I'm just so excluded from everything I do. Like, all the other creators are there. Um, WME is there, the agency I'm signed to. Collective is there, the network I'm signed to. Sarah is there. Uh, so, you know... And for a long time, I didn't accept that I had to move because I've never lived away from home. I mean, I'm barely ever home. I travel anyways, but, like, I've never lived away from my parents. I've never lived away from home. But then I told myself, you know what, every great thing I've ever achieved has been because I've stepped out of my comfort zone. And this is just another one of those things where I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and hopefully great things will come of it. But just know that when it happens, I'm going to be horrified. I'm going to be scared. I'm going to definitely need all of your support. And it's not like me ditching Canada or Toronto. I'm going to come back all the time. All my family's here. My closest friends are here. Um, and I will rep Toronto till the day I die. I don't even care. I will be in LA rocking a Raptors jersey for life, okay? But just, I got to do it. It's time. I mean, the energy there. And I will say, the first time I ever went to LA, within 20 minutes, I knew I had to live there. The energy there... Everyone there's so like-minded, like the hustle that I have, everyone there has it plus more. So being in LA, every time I'm there, I feel like, oh man, I feel so encouraged to work because everyone else is working really hard. Not that people don't work hard here, but lifestyle is very different here. And the lifestyle I have is, just makes more sense in LA. So that's all. Um, it's I'm getting nervous even talking about it. But I'm sure at some point this year, I will move to LA. We will move to LA collectively as, as a family. And I'm going to be nervous as F. But until that day, I'm going to go to sleep because I have a migraine and my vision is blurring on my left eye. So if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Yeah. Guess I'm going to use this ham. I don't know which one's ham, but I'm guessing it's going to the ham fella. Ham? Nobody there. What would you try to mind that fella? What you do? You mind your business over there, okay? You freaking sink? <laughs>